were you guys surprised at what you were able to capture on this thing? We were absolutely stunned. We were, we were following another shark, and this shark, the one that you just saw, attacked the vehicle. And we had no idea that this was going to happen. Um, you know, Greg Scomel, uh, you know, Dr. Greg Scomel had teased this, that, oh, yeah, it's yum, yum, yellow, the sharks will go after it. But, you know, he, he said that publicly, but really he said, no, no, they'll leave it alone. Um, he, he did not expect it. We did not expect it. And then we saw this. And we Is that the craziest thing that happened, Roger? I mean, did, how many more moments like this were there? I think in all the vehicle was attacked about 10 different times. Um, and we've got a number of them on, on excellent camera footage, you know, su such as what you saw, but also shots of it, uh, the vehicle being attacked. You see the um, shark coming up from the depths. Um, so you get some really great close-ups. Uh, but also we got some other footage of different predation beta uh, behaviors where the vehicle was um, was more like, it, 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 as opposed to trying to uh, feed on the vehicle, it was sort of territorial behavior. Um, you know, get out of my space. This is mine. So how did you build this thing? How did you direct this thing? How did it know where to go? Um, well, our group, you know, the Oceanographic Systems Lab has been working on this vehicle for 20 years now. Um, in terms of, it is autonomous, so you give it a set of instructions and then it follows them. Um, and essentially what we did was we, uh, Greg Scomble tagged the shark um, and that puts a transponder on it and we ping the transponder and we get a response. And the round trip travel time gives us the range and using an acoustic instrument we can determine the bearing so we know where to go and how far to catch up to the shark. I, I mean, I'm, I'm completely stunned. We're continuing to watch footage of these sharks um, stalking the camera. How did how did the how did the drone return? Was it alive? Was it in one piece? Well, the the first time, I mean, we actually had you know we, we went through three stages really with this thing. I mean, when it was actually the initial um, track, we saw um, anomalies, shall we say, in the data, things that just didn't look right, and. We asked about. We asked the captain, "Well, how how deep's the water?" Um, because we figured, "Oh, maybe it's running into the bottom." And we found out it was hundreds of meters deep. Then we recovered the vehicle, and absolutely astounded to see clear jaw marks, teeth marks in in, in the stern of the vehicle. Um, and then the third time, when we actually got to view the footage, and they filmed us um, seeing the footage for the first time. And we're all just absolutely shocked. We, you know, we jumped out of our seats. So what else? I know you've been using these vehicles in other situations. What else is this drone capable of? Well, this, this, this vehicle is actually part of a family of vehicles. This is a Remus 100 rated for 100 meters depth. That's a little over 300 feet. But there's a Remus 600, which is a little bit bigger. And then there's a Remus 6000, uh, which is rated for about four miles depth in the ocean. That vehicle um, is the one that was used to find Air France 447 when it crashed um, off, off of Brazil. So we've, we've done a lot of different um, uh, tasks and, and jobs with this. How about the missing Malaysian jetliner that still hasn't been found? They believe it's somewhere at the bottom of the Indian Ocean or close to Antarctica. I think they've decided to use a towed system, but we may be involved in, once they find the wreckage, um, we may be involved in photographing it. Now, what about the footage? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed by what these GoPro cameras were, were able to capture. I mean, could this, it's obviously being integrated into the Discovery Channel and, and, and Shark Week, but what about movies and, and motion pictures? Well, it's, it's actually really impressive what that technology has done. Um, I mean, because it's, they're fairly low cost and they, you know, they give, give superb video. Uh, there's a lot of shots in the TV show of, uh, helicopter, um, a quadricopter drone mounted uh, of aerial views and we got some terrific footage and it's simply just a, you know a very small um, small drone like you um, you know the, uh, maybe uh, two feet in diameter.